So we're here at Compassion Arts, and part of Compassion Arts, we have Compassion Arts Youth Leaders, and we love to collaborate with youth artists, artists that take charge and put their stories on these posts. This is your story, and as I recall, this is your story about, what's your story? Uh, I was on the soccer team, and my grandmother came and cheered for me. And that story, and her grandmother happens to be, what? White. And this post is about? Multiracial family. And how do you feel when you're um, trying to fit in the society growing up as multiracial and some of the struggles? That's what this post is about, communicating that. And what's the scenario specifically? What's the reaction? It's, it's great that you were able to capture the reactions of your peers. What was your reaction when your grandmother came to the soccer game? Well, most people don't know it's my grandmother because we look like so I think because she's white, right, your grandmother, they assume. But actually, I saw a picture of your mom. I think you guys look a lot alike. Yeah, so she does. That's just appearances, perceptions that we need to help shape. Skin color is not everything. Thank you so much for collaborating. And what, how old were you when you, were, when you created this piece? Ten. Ten years old. Woo! And how old are you today? Twelve. See what I'm saying? We, we, we stay with our youth. It's sustainability. We don't just let them go. We don't just let them go. I got you. You're protected. You're protected. Don't worry. No bugs come by. You're good. You're safe with me. Thank you so much. And George, we just want to look at George piece one more time. Do you get to talk to the police? Not very often. I, I might like, oh, uh, on, on the way home, I walk past Villa Park every day. And sometimes there might be a couple of cops or anything like that. And they'll say hi. There's never really any alter altercations like that. So it's just really just hi bye type thing. Um, I have seen some stuff while I'm at, at home with cops and regular people who weren't really doing anything. They were just walking. But that's about it. Yeah, I understand. I, I hope those days are far and few because uh, it's it's changed. Uh, everything has changed. Um, it just cops got to be better better people and and they, they, they need to know that um, and they need to know that there's a perception out there that we're not you know and they need to change that um, we're just just human people we like to inter inter interact with you guys we like to say hi we like to talk want to know what's going on you know, um, that that's that's the new police now and I think it's going around everywhere that they have to do that it's good you know and uh, I've, I've seen it a lot. I grew up in Pasadena, born and raised in Pasadena, work in Pasadena, have a business in Pasadena. So I have a vested interest in making sure that uh, the community stay in, stay active, stay vocal. And stay you know, safe. Stay yeah. safe. you have any suggestions that might help? I learned a lot of tips on how to communicate with the cops when they are talking to you and and, and ways to protect yourself too. So I remember um, Faye was um, a cop and she kept directing me away from my friend, but it was that I wasn't doing anything wrong and that I wasn't being detained and I wasn't under arrest that I can just leave and things like that. So it, it's little things like that that I feel like young people need to know so that they can keep their self safe so yeah I, I think that uh, as long as people understand too that, that uh, the, the officers always have a job to do too and there's a safety so if they're engaging with somebody that may be doing something wrong they don't want somebody else to interfere or get hurt or they're getting away um, once the officers figure out that this is you know everything's a-okay you know they'll, they'll they'll throttle down but they're you know that it's not easy being a cop it's not easy being an officer and the stress level is extremely high so but once once they know that everything's okay you, you know they're they're just like us you know they, they want to engage and, and talk to you guys too so but they want to keep everything safe first